And this just in, Supreme Court, um, Supreme Court Justice Clarence Thomas has now issued a statement, the first comment from Thomas or the Supreme Court after the report by ProPublica laying out how Justice Thomas and his wife went on many trips over the years, paid for by his friend and big Republican donor Harlan Crone, and importantly, did not disclose that in any disclosures. Mm -hmm. Ariane DeVogue is back with us with more on this statement. Ariane, what is the justice saying now? Right, you're absolutely right. The first time we hear from him after the release of that bombshell report that really detailed over the years that he took these trips to places like New Zealand, Indonesia, on private uh, yachts, private jets, never disclosed it, and it was all paid for by this mega Republican uh, donor named Harlan Crow. I'm going to read you the statement, and it's kind of long, but keep in mind, we do not usually hear a statement like this uh, from Clarence Thomas. He said, Harlan and Kathy Crow are among our dearest friends, and we have been friends for over 25 years. As friends do, we have joined them on a number of family trips during the more than a quarter century we have known them. Early in my tenure at the court, I sought guidance from my colleagues and others in the judiciary and was advised that this sort of personal hospitality from close personal friends who did not have business before the court was not reportable. I have endeavored to follow that counsel throughout my tenure and have always sought to comply with the disclosure guidelines. These guidelines are now being changed as the committee of the Judicial Conference responsible for financial disclosures for the entire federal judiciary just this past month announced new guidance. And it is, of course, my intent to follow this guidance in the future. What's interesting about that statement is he wants to make clear that Harlan Crow had no business before the court. He wanted to highlight that. But as you know, this comes, this story comes as the court itself is under this harsh spotlight. So many people are beginning to think that it's beginning to look like another political branch after we've had those contentious um, confirmation hearings of late, and as the justices have been more and more on those hot button issues dividing along these familiar ideological lines. So this comes at a time Thomas wanted to respond very quickly, and he's trying to explain why he didn't report uh, these trips uh, before those ethics rules were changed. And as you said, it is, a, is rare to hear a statement from one of the justices in responding to a news report, especially, um, that's out there. It's an important and, and full statement coming from Justice Thomas right here. Ariane, thank you so much for jumping on to bring us that.